Yo, what's going on guys? Chris New Flakes here. For today's video, I am doing one of my toughest challenges ever in NBA, uh, really 2K history, and that is, I am going to try to build a, a good NBA team with only free agents. So you might think, okay, Chris, all you gotta do is just pick the best guys out there and hope for the best. Um, that's not gonna get it done because goal number one is to win a championship. I, I don't know if that's even gonna be possible at all. Uh, goal number two, I would say, would be to make the playoffs. And then goal number three is to simply not be the worst team in the NBA. So what I did is I went to the New York Knicks and I deleted every single bitch ass from there. I'm sorry, Knicks fans. I'm sorry, man. It's just I had to pick the worst team in the NBA. And record-wise, that would be the Knicks right now. So sorry, uh, Dennis Smith, DeAndre Jordan, guys like that are not going to be a part of this video. Although I, I was kind of hoping that DeAndre Jordan was bought out uh, by the Knicks. So that way he could have been part of the free agent class. But he's not. He's going to be with them for the rest of the season. So yeah. We have like 13 roster spots, whatever it is, to build our team. And this is kind of what we have to do with it. Because there's a lot of solid players out there. I am very nervous about the point guard and shooting guard position. Because I believe the best point guard listed is Shelvin Mack. And I mean, he's like an 8.4 assist guy right now. Well, not right now. He's sitting his bitch ass on the college. But still, man. Um, Yeah, so what we have to do is we have to like get guys that can get us to the playoffs. But in the meantime, I went over here and looked at potential. And we want, to, we want to get guys with a high potential because what we can do is take some of those guys and while our starters are trying to get us to the playoffs, we can toss some of these guys into the G League and try to get their rating back up to what it once was. So like Melo uh, as a 76 overall, maybe try to get him to an 86 overall by playing the G League. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but we got to try stuff like that, man. We got to try sneaky stuff out there. So for the first player, clearly going to be Ennis Cantor. I mean, he's going to be starting for the video. This is one of the guys that... Uh, it's not going to be the G League, but he's going to be a big, crucial part of at least getting us to the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. So, welcome back to the New York Knicks, the team that bought you out. Um, now, Mount Ginobili, I was kind of debating on him because I'm, I'm like, you know, he's going to be retiring in real life. So, he is listed in 2K, though. And I know, man, it's like it's a little bit of cheese out there, but Mount Ginobili still listed in 2K, still listed as a free agent. So, for that reason, uh, I think it's I think it's plausible to get him on the team right here. So, yeah, Ginobili... Um, another big part of the team. Welcome. To, you are going to be the starting shooting guard or small forward. Uh, he's not going to be one of the guys in the G League. He's also going to be another guy that's going to be a crucial member of trying to get us to the playoffs um, starting. So, yeah, that's big time for us. Zach Randolph, another guy, you know, 78 overall. He's going to be the power forward of this team. And, you know, so far, that, that's not like a bad little trio about 10 years ago. Minus Ennis Cantor, who would be like 16, 10 years ago. Um, so, we got a shooting guard. We got a power forward. We got a center. Michael Beasley, probably have him listed as the small forward position because I think Melo, I think I'm going to toss him to the G League and try to make him 86 overall if possible. I just don't know if I'll be able to. So Beasley goes to the small forward position. That will be nice for us. Um, and we are, are still looking for a point guard of some sort. So, yeah, Monroe, this is probably one of the guys that might either be a bench player or somebody I toss him to the G League. Uh, so we are going to assign him to the team right here too. Welcome to the Knicks. But yeah, man, uh, Tony Allen, another guy that's just probably more of a rotational player. I'm sure he'll probably be a backup to uh, Miles Ginobili. Although, I'm debating of putting him at the small forward position. I know his reign does go up in 2K. And now we got Shelvin Mag. I mean, it's the best point guard currently available. So, uh, I don't really like the idea of him on the team. But, we'll take him. We also, what other point guards we got, man? We got, ugh, Cameron Payne. Ugh, man. I'm uh, painting my bitch ass right here, guys. 73 point shot. What do you do? How are you a crafty, offensive-minded point guard, but you got a 73 mid-range shot and a crispy flakes 70 overall three push? I mean, I'm more like a, I mean, I'm more like a 17 overall, but still can't even go that low. Uh, yo, we got Brandon Jennings. I think I would trust my team more with Brandon Jennings right now than I would with Cameron Payne, but that's just my own personal opinion. And yeah, that's our two point guards we gotta roll with. Um, although Jennings might have a pretty solid um, like potential because of the years past so he might be a candidate for going to the g league i think i can only toss three guys into the g league so we gotta be very selective with him dwight bikes just like an offensive oriented guy so we'll go with him tail dosage is a 72 overall i'm not really feeling that let's go to the top of the list here see what else we got to work with yeah gotta get mellow before uh it's, it's too late oh 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 <laughs> my bad <laughs> and i mean to do that mellow i'm sorry I know, I know you got a lot of haters these days, but I'm not trying to delete you, Thanos, you from existence. I promise. I promise that was not my uh, attention. Uh, Marcin Gortat, 77 overall center. Would be a nice backup for us. Signed him to the roster. I don't want to use too many roster spots for centers, though, because there's a lot of pretty solid guys out here. 
um tail dosage 87 three-point shot i know he's another guy that's got like medical issues and should not be playing but you're still listening to 2k so blame ronnie 2k for that one you have, have i put any guys on the celtics because usually when i do these videos i use like the first legends team available and that's the celtics so hopefully i have not done that uh markeith morris now hopefully what we can do here we can get markeith morris put him at small forward find brother marcus morris and just have them uh just, just, just give Marcus the Knicks jersey. That'd be kind of nice. So I'm going to put him probably on the team. He'll probably be a small forward. Might even be the starter. So we'll sign him to the roster. Uh, I'm surprised he's only 75 overall. Like, I know he's not been absolutely great this season. But in years past, he's been pretty damn solid. All right. Let's, uh, we probably need some more small forward. So we got to get, got to get Swaggy P. Got to get Swaggy P on the squad. Welcome, welcome. And, all right. Now let's, oh, Joe Johnson. He's probably got pretty good potential also. Yo, let's, uh, he got 73 point shot. It's, my God, he used to be actually pretty damn decent. Uh, let's go over here now and look at the potentials. So Richard Jefferson has an 84 overall. I mean, if we can put him in the G League and get him to that point. Uh, last time I saw him, he's been doing basketball commentary. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to be playing these days. But who knows, man? Joe Johnson. Sign him to the roster also. Hopefully, I'm not going to. Oh, okay, okay. I already got 15 players, so I cannot get any more. That's all right. Joe Johnson don't got a three-point shot anymore anyway. Jason Terry might have been a decent addition, but he's only, dang, he's a 69 overall now. Nick Stauskas might have been okay. Uh, we also got Michael Carter-Williams, who is just completely fell off as a basketball player. I think for the most part, though, guys, our team's pretty set to go. Uh, I might have to pick up a, a few more free agents when I sign guys to the G League, so that will also always be a possibility. But yeah, Zach Randolph, our best list. No, I guess our uh, yeah, not our best rated because I guess overall wise is our best rated. But no, I'm sorry, uh, potential wise. But Ennis Cantor, Zach Randolph, Maginobli, that's our big three right there. We got Marcin Gortat. It's not fantastic, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the beginning of a regular season. Okay, guys. So this is what the team looks like so far. We have run into an issue though, and that is that. I cannot put players into the G League that don't want to go there. So, like, Mello, assigned to the uh, Westchester Knicks, he says doesn't want to be sent down to the G League. Players with more than three years pro and are not on a two-way contract can block the team's decision on being sent down. Um, I had no idea that was even a real rule in the NBA. Like, if I feel like you should go there and you're under contract, that should be my choice. But, uh, okay, so we got to go to some of the younger players here, which we don't really have, man. I mean, our youngest player is 28 besides for Ennis Cantor. So, Monroe... Can we do it with him? We cannot. Okay, well, this just got a lot more difficult. I guess we are going to have to work with what we have out here and uh, hope for the best. So, Shelvin Mack, he's not going to be the starting point guard. I put Ginobili as a point guard. He went down one rating point, uh, but I did think it was worth it. So, we're going to go with him right there. And then Melo is obviously going to be the starting small forward now. Although, yeah, I want to get some more scoring in that starting lineup. I think Beasley, let's put Beasley at the small forward position. He actually goes to a 79 overall. Mello at shooting guard goes down to 74. So we essentially have to start, uh, start him right there. But I think I don't want his rain to go down. So I think I'm just going to put him right there and just hope that is okay for us. And then I will put Beasley as a starting uh, small forward. We'll do that. Okay. But I feel like I'm I feel like I'm cheesing now. The man, like my if, if I put Beasley as small forward and his rain goes up, I don't change Mello, his rain goes down. So you know what, man? Mellow off the bench. It's got to be Mellow off the bench because Beasley is the higher overrated guy now. And then we are going to go with, uh, I guess, Tony Allen as shooting guard. I don't feel like amazing about that, but got to work with what we got right here. So, yeah, let me put uh, Marquis Vuk. I'll put him at small forward. He goes, to, he goes down a rating, actually. So we're not going to mess with that. Teletovich at small forward. He goes to a 78 overall. I'm thinking of just butting the bullet with Melo and, and making him be a 74 overall just so we can have him in the starting lineup. I think we'll go with that. Because um, a lot of these other guys, like, I want to play at the small forward position. Like, Teletovich, 78 overall. Like, that's pretty damn nice. And, yeah, we'll go with a... We're going to go with definitely having our starters playing more. Uh, and this Cannon got to play about... He got to play about 42 minutes a game, guys, first to even have a chance here. So, we'll go roll with that. Uh, yeah, 10-man rotation, I said. That should be fine. Tony Allen don't got to be playing that much. Really, our stars or really our bench guys don't got to be playing that much at all. Uh, let's get uh, let's go with Ginobili playing a lot too at about 37 a game. Uh, Beasley as a 79 overall at 30. Actually, let's get him. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll switch that up. Zebo at about 34. Melo at 26 as of right now. But I think I'm gonna switch that up a little bit right here. 
And yeah, we'll go with Melo at 34. Because I know he's 74 overall, but he's going to be a catch-and-shoot player essentially for us. Um, I don't know if this team can make the playoffs, guys. It's going to be very damn close. I wish I could send guys to the G League. If you guys know a way to do that, to like override that, let me know in the comment section below. But I, I don't think there's really a possible way. So... We see how I go with this. Uh, as far as our system efficiency, we got two and a half for grit and grind. See, we, can, we got uh, perimeter centric as a three star. We got balance as three star. Let me go with balance. Um, might be able to find a better head coach, I guess. Let's go to, yeah, let's go to staff signing if we can do that. And yeah, as far as head coaches, uh, let's fire Fizdale, C minus, C minus D. All right, so get him off there. Now we got, we got some, uh, a free agent coach, guys. A free agent coach. So it's even more realistic. Okay, I need a guy that's like a real life person, though. <laughs> you know, it's like, because sometimes you get some of these like made up dudes and it's just not very good. Uh, just for however the game, like, the game's like programmed. Who's this guy? Nathan Masters. We got Mason Yee. Okay, I'm, I don't know what none of these guys are, man. So we're just going to go with best available, I guess. And that is probably uh, Michael Stafer. Throw him a nice size contract. And he happily accepts that. Uh, so let's go back to our system proficiency. So he's two star pace in space. Uh, we are just going to go with the balance system. All right, guys. This is the team. Uh, it's definitely not going to win the championship. Making the playoffs, I, I think with the veteran leadership out there, is definitely possible. So I guess let's go ahead and simulate to this NBA season. Hope for the best. You know what, guys? If we beat the Detroit Pistons, I literally built the most average team in NBA history. A record of 40 and 41 as of right now. One more game against Detroit, who's all... Oh, my God. This is literally the battle of the most average teams in the entire NBA. Uh, it might also be the battle of a playoff spot, so we better take this one a little serious. Simulate with SimCast and see how this goes. Come on, guys. Come on, Knicks. For once... I'm, I'm literally wearing all Pistons gear, so this is kind of awkward, but... uh. Go, go Detroit. Go Detroit. Probably just knocked me out of the bitch-ass playoffs. But, uh, damn, Mount Ginobili, 19.7 assists. Why is this guy retired? Best player in the NBA currently. All right, hopefully we still made the playoffs. We might not have, though. Might have been the difference maker. MVP going to uh, Russell Westbrook. Again, yeah, none of our players are going to make this. And we all kind of knew that. We're not going to get no awards or nothing like that. Uh, so we got, uh, oh, my God. God damn it, Detroit. Oh my god, that was literally for the playoffs! Son of a bitch! You know, I don't get, I don't get, I don't give a damn about my, I will expose my damn hairline right now, guys. You're, you're about to see the unmasking of crispy flakes. I'm not wearing my damn pissing thing. My damn glasses going off. The whole damn shirt's going off too here, man. I'm probably all sweaty and shit. So I got a freaking gray shirt. Y'all know it sees through like that, man. It's all coming off, man. It's about to be a different kind of tube up in here. It's no longer YouTube. Fucking Christ, man! My hopes and dreams taken. You know what? Give me, give me, give me one second. We are now a football channel. We are now a football channel. I'm also realizing how bad I really need to get a haircut, guys. Please believe, man. I know it. Oh, you don't even see it, shit, man. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Detroit made it. Detroit, not the Knicks. Player stats on the season. Come on, come, once you win the playoffs, anything's possible. So, leading scorer, Michael Beasley has 17 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. Ennis Cantor, 16 points, 13 rebounds. The man playing 42 minutes doing this. Carmelo Anthony, 16 points, 5 rebounds. Zach Randolph, good numbers. Ginobili at 12 and 6. I mean, the, the team played nice. But damn, I can't believe we're one game away from making the playoffs, guys. That's so damn frustrating. Not even funny, man. My God. And I have another issue. A year ago, this this hat fit nicely, and now it freaking is tight in my head. Do heads grow? Do heads increase in size over time? I don't know, man. Oh, God. I am just. You guys, you think I look like Matt Stafford, the the, the quarterback of the uh, of the uh, Detroit Lions? Do you think I look like him, man, without my glasses? Maybe not. People always tell me I did. Oh my God, dude, I'm freaking. Ugh. Camera doing me no favors today. Damn, dude. Golden State Warriors win it all. I mean, come on. Oh, my God. Look at the freaking red line I got. I'm just done wearing hats. All right. Well, that's the end of the video, man. We didn't make the playoffs. Damn, Detroit lost four games to one. Uh, I'm about to hit up the barbershop. Actually, probably not because I don't want to go outside. But hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Peace out, my friends.